<laughs> now, all right. Now, we're what's our next matchup? Uh, might come with a cutscene. It does. Twenty-three, John Cena versus HBK. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, now we're finally we're finally actually getting a WW. Uh, we're finally getting a WrestleMania main event after skipping the last few. A singles match for the WWE Championship. Now, do they have any sort of like feud building to this? Or? Oh, I, I, we will have to see. I think it might be another one where uh, he keeps trying to uh, switch in music, John Cena. I was going to say, I was say like, were they a tag team or something? <laughs> oh, I, that's a really famous angle, though, to make the uh, feuding. Oh, have have one guy in a tag team keep accidentally hitting the other guy? No, to have the feuder, the people feuding leading into WrestleMania, mm -hmm. force them to tag team. Oh, okay. Like a looking mega powers. Yeah. It don't get no bigger than this. Oh, twenty three HBK John Cena. Uh Shawn Michaels defeats Randy Orton and Edge to earn a title shot at John Cena at WrestleMania twenty three. During their scheduled tag team match against uh, Edge and, and uh, Randy Orton, Cena and Michaels, HBK nearly delivers the sweet chin music to Cena after Orton moves out of the way. Uh, Edge later abandoned Orton, which allowed Cena and Michaels to win the match. On the final Raw before WrestleMania 23, Cena and Michaels would team up to face Batista and The Undertaker. Cena and Michaels looked to have a secured victory, but Michaels nailed Cena with the sweet chin music, allowing Batista and Undertaker to win. That is the feud leading up to it. And it looks like we'll be playing as John Cena. This also, a uh, little historical note, WrestleMania 23 had the highest uh, uh, buy rate in, really? uh, in WrestleMania history. Wow. One point one and a quarter million. Hmm. And a quarter million. And so this is the main event, right? Yes, this is. Wow, so HBK would have gotten quite the payday. Oh my god, I'm so sad I don't have the music right now. Why? What, what is the music? This is the DX theme. Are you ready? What are, what are, we, watch, what are we watching here? There's like women running and cops and... Yeah, so... You, you've... Do you know Degeneration X at all? Yeah, yeah, they were like. Yeah. Cool. So Degeneration, this is their uh, their Titantron Degeneration X. Yeah, it was like Shawn Michaels and whatever X Pac was called H. at the time and Triple H. Uh, and then the New Age Outlaws, uh, Road Dog and the Badass Billy Gunn. Was, was that when like China was going around punching everyone in the balls? Yeah, that was China was also Degeneration X. Um, like, I guess their whole gimmick was counterculture, which really doesn't make sense now that both of them are old. Right. But, I, like, their theme, I love their theme. I'll never not love the DX original theme. But yeah, they kind of, they were kind of like, they were kind of like the beginning of the, of the whole, you know, Attitude Era. Yeah. Filthy, nasty. Ruthless like, aggression. Guys who were kind of would have been heels being kind of faces. Yeah. Well, yeah, it was the rise of the anti-hero. Where you could act like a, a heel, which Shawn everybody liked. Is, Michaels but as long cool as you did it to the right people, yeah. it was okay. Shawn Michaels always like, cool pay-per-view entrances. Yeah. I'm sorry, go ahead. It was like when, um... A, you know, when... Shawn Michaels and Triple H would go around vandalizing stuff, but it would always be Vince McMahon stuff. Right. So it was okay. Was that when X-Pac was going under the name Six? 
No, I don't think so. I think he was X Pac when he was part of DX. Okay. Because one, I know. I think he was. I previously. Oh, you know what? No, you might be right because he, start, he, was he would have been one, two, three kid. Would have been the sixth. Yeah, he would have been six because he would have been the sixth member of DX. Oh, is that why they called him that? Yeah, he was, was like, six. He was six because he was the sixth member of a bunch of different. Um, um, stables. But it was like S Y X X, right? Yeah. So yeah, we just talked over it, but this was the same WrestleMania where John Cena drives a car into the arena through a plate glass window. Yeah. He, he's wearing much more modest shorts this time. That's appreciated. Yes. And I assume since he's in a t-shirt that he's no longer the Doctor of Thuggin' Nope. Bones. He's saluting. He's playing up this whole Marine angle. I think this might have been when the Marine came out. Really? Yeah. I remember no, when the, um, United 12 States rounds... Marine, the United States Marine Corps has long been known for its bright spinning belts. Yes. <laughs> um, I remember when the Marine in 12 Rounds came out, I was just like, who the hell is John Cena? And why does this movie look like a shitty born identity? <laughs> because it was. You're playing soon. Yes. Pretty much every match uh, where Cena is in, you play as Cena. Hey, one of your one of your PS3 friends making a cameo. Yes, I think that was uh, Callum's actually. Oh. All right, now this just a okay. This is a standard pinfaller submission. Yep. The first historical. Uh, first goal is, is to Irish, Irish whip, whip HBK into at the light damage table. into the announce table. Then complete and the so WrestleMania moment and then win with a STF. That's your submission, right? Yes. It is actually, like, to its credit, the STF is a, a cool-looking submission. Well, I'm sure it's a perfectly fine submission, it's just its name makes no sense now. Yeah, its name is dumb. It's Shut the Fuck. <laughs> Which, like I said, sounds worse than STFU, really. Yeah. It's just like All obscenity right. for the sake of obscenity. Oh. <laughs> I think that was a scripted thing. Yeah. Is that what happens when you try to Irish whip him? Into... Yeah. He's gonna moonsault. Oh. Or springboard moonsault. Oof. Shawn Michaels sells like a motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Like, he, like someone hits him, knocks him, he gets knocked down, he's like heaving like he's having a seizure or something. <laughs> Strong selling has o has almost always been like a thing that ev that's uh, big stars have to do. The only exception I think are Hulk Hogan, The Undertaker, and John Cena, all of whom like their gimmicks is not selling. Yeah, well, well, well yeah, I mean Undertaker's gimmick is not selling because he's 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 undead. A zombie. Why didn't yeah. I, Hogan generally didn't sell much? Was that was that just an ego thing or? Uh, he didn't sell partially because of an ego thing, uh, but also because, uh, like, his gimmick was, you know, being the ultimate face, proof that hard work... Indomitable. Yeah, you know, say your prayers, train... The demandments. Take your vitamins. Okay. You know, this I the basic idea that, you know, if you do all those things, in the end, you'll always win. Which is... Not a good thing to tell kids. I mean, it's a good moral, but telling them that they'll always win if they do these things makes makes for harsh realities when they enter actual competition. Well, they didn't take At enough of rate. the vitamins, Nick. That's the problem. What's that? They didn't take enough. Yeah, they didn't vitamins. take enough vitamins. You, you don't do one a day. You buy those Hulk Hogan chewable vitamins, then you just you shovel you shovel them into your mouth like as the day goes on. Just go to town. And then you combine that with the pasta. Pasta mania runs wild. 
Seriously, you have to see the cane. Um... Oh, I oh I I intend to. I assure you. <laughs> it's pretty good. Oh, too old. Oh shit. Oh, cut the sweet shin music. Close line, yay. Alright, now I'm gonna put him into the finisher. Ah. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna do a lot of damage, but I don't think I'm gonna make make him tap. Oof. You have to like build up heat to do another for another finisher then? Yeah, I have to build the heat up for another finisher. The crowd does get quiet uh when I don't have a finisher available. Okay. So uh when I I when I first started getting into wrestling, um I had to explain to one of my friends like all the references I kept making. Mm -hmm. Uh, because he didn't get it, but f the one, illogically enough, that he did get was the John Cena waving my hand in front of my face. Really? Is that caught on in pop culture at large or something? I guess. Like, maybe, you know, John Cena is actually just f mostly fairly well-known, even by non-wrestling enthusiasts. Um, I mean, he's on, like, Disney Channel, for Christ's sake. Uh, well, he's, he's like cross. Well, it's like you know, I mean, like people knew who Hulk Hogan was in the eighties, whether they watched wrestling or not. Yeah, but people who knew who Hulk Hogan was, I think, for like because Hulk Hogan, like the eighties, he was like mad patriotic, and that was a cool thing in the eighties. It wasn't like, oh, you're patriotic. But but a, you know, a, a lot of wrestling, a bunch, number of faces were like that were really patriotic at that time. Yeah, but not only one wrestler's theme was "I am a real American." That's fight for the rights of every man. And also, he was... Um, I mean, he had, like, you know, that role in, like, you know, was it Rocky Three and stuff, so he was... Yeah. He had some more mainstream... Support. And, of course, the classic Suburban Commando. Yes. Such a good one. Um, we've also had the Undertaker. There we go. Tap, tap. Oh, fuck you! Oh, no. He used his special ability to keep from tapping. He was so gonna tap. Um... But the yeah, the one my friend did get was the waving the hand in front of the face. Mm -hmm. And so I started doing that, like, but just to, like, piss him off. Because he knew it, but that did not mean he liked it. <laughs> so he'd, like, he'd go around, here's me targeting his arms. Here's me targeting his head. I meant to show this off earlier. Um... Let's get the legs. Man, his whole body is just a massive injury at this point. Well, no, his arms are okay. But... Um, and so it, it accidentally got to the point where all of my friends knew, like, when I was trying to piss them off, that I would do the fate, the, the you can't, you see, can't me. see me. <laughs> and so then I, like, I just became that guy that kept doing you can't see me <laughs> all the time. And uh, one time I picked my friend up from my house, uh, and I hadn't seen him in forever. And he's like, do you still do that you can't see me thing? I'm like, yeah, I do it all the time. And, and he's like, please stop. And I'm like, I'll do it right now while I'm driving. <laughs> and, and the cop car like happened to drive by in the neighborhood. Yeah. And, I, and I looked over at him while I was driving, and I did it. Yeah. <laughs> and thankfully, the cop just thought I was trying to wave to him. <laughs> so he waved to me. <laughs> oh, oh, sweet chin music. Oh no! Yeah, I'll be okay. I've got one resiliency. That's what makes you like recover. Yeah. So now I just need to. Wow, that's stupid. I need to get up. 
Oh shit. Side slam. Five knuckle shuffle. Anyways, yeah. So I was pretty lucky that day that uh that cop didn't think you were like making some sort of gang insignia or something? Yeah. I mean admittedly where I was is suburban California, so Ah, got him to tap. Yeah. And that was the historical objective, right? To tap him up? Yeah, to make him tap with the STF. <sighs> yeah. They are they're still pushing Hulk Hogan merchandise at the WWE store. No, well, he's a timeless figure. Not really. <laughs> if you've seen him. <laughs> 